is I once heard a remark, God made man and man made slave. God didn't make man to rule over one another. God made man to be brothers. That's right, to be brothers. Not to rule over one another, no superior race, no superior nation, no superior language. We have one language, heavenly. Right. We have one brotherhood. That's man. That's man, no matter who he is. Why should we fight and kill one another? But they do it. And if he's God at all, he's interested in every human being because it's his creation. And he's interested in the children. He's interested in the old age, the middle age. He's interested in the, the, the colors of us and the white, the brown, the black, the, the yellow, the different shades of our skins from the country that we come from. And our forefather, he's interested in all of us. He's just not interested in the Jews alone or in, or in the yellow race, black race, white race, whatever it is. He's interested in the whole human race and trying to get the human race to focus his word down to one thing and say, there is one God, and that God give an innocent substitute a coming, becoming himself man in order to take away sin to save the whole human race. John the prophet so beautifully illustrated, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Whosoever. Oh, sin problem is settled right there in that one innocent substitute.